On this eighth day of Hanukkah, Zot Hanukkah, the pinnacle of Hanukkah, if you're anything like me, you're probably looking for some inspiration so that you can channel the light of Hanukkah to the rest of the year, so that Hanukkah is always with us. Well, there's a central theme in the Chinuch of Hanukkah when you're lighting the candles to keep the flame with the wick until the wick has its own flame that stands independently in its own light. And if we're to apply this to the Baal Shem Tov meditation, we teach in Lev Emunah. There's a powerful meditation Baal Shem Tov teaches us and instructs us and encourages us every morning and every day when we study Torah, when we read chapters of Tehillim, when we pray, to connect to the infinite light within the letters. And as we do so, he says, we are infusing our words with the power that they need in order to affect the change that you seek to see in your reality. So when you pray, if you're able to meditate in this way, your prayers actually are able to affect the change you seek to see, says the Baal Shem Tov. All you need to do is imagine and sense with vividly within each letter that you are uttering, within each every word, the infinite light of Hashem, present. Now, if we're to apply the rules of lighting Hanukkah candles to this meditation, we were to see each one of these letters as candles that need to be lit with the infinite light. And they are lit with that light as we imagine the infinite light that is present at the core, at the center of these letters as we are uttering them. Now, as we are uttering these words, as we are speaking them into reality, if you were to stay with each word, with each letter, and sense and feel that infinite light until it stands in its own, until you feel like you don't need to imagine it anymore because it is inherent, and only move on to the next letter once you feel the light in the previous letter standing on its own. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev teaches us that in this way you make your whole prayer into oneness. It's all in that space of oneness. And these are the most powerful prayers to channel the light of Geula, redemption, the light of Hanukkah, the blessings of the eighth day of Hanukkah, Notzer Chesed, Hashem's unconditional kindness and love, can be channeled for us every day of the way, every day of the year in this way. Amen. Happy Hanukkah to all of you.